He takes up Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. Then once again, we are separated by this giant, vacuous wall. <laughs> the Guildford Wall. Yeah. What we need is David Hasselhoff to come in and tear it down. Oh, it's like it's 1980-something again. Um, the Hoff is always welcome in my world. Absolutely. So, this challenge... Uh, I can't decide, I can't really work out why we've decided that Rob can't see what I'm doing. But anyway, so here's the idea. I have got three guitar amplifiers sitting behind me. A Fender Deluxe Reverb, 65 Deluxe Reverb, an actual Vox uh, AC30 from 1963, and a Marshall 2203 JCM 800 head. And all three of those amplifiers are running in to the very clever UAD Oxbox. The Oxbox is then applying some speaker emulation and some room ambience to a sound that's then going straight into the desk and that's what you're hearing and that's what Rob's hearing in the room through some studio monitors. We also have plugged in a Kemper with three Michael Britt profiles of that we've picked to kind of match those three amps. So we have a profile of a, a 65 Deluxe, a profile of an AC30, and a profile of a JCM800. So what this mimics is, if I'm in the studio and I want to get great guitar sounds, do I need three really, really nice, expensive guitar amplifiers, or will the Kemper just do the job for you? That's exactly it. And I'm not sure if this is going to end up being an advert for the Kemper or an advert for the Ox or neither or both, uh, in fact. But or fundamentally, what I've got is uh, this Lella red switching box here, which hopefully one of the cameras, which ones should I point at? Are, this one, yeah. okay. So this little red box here holds the key to which Rob is hearing. Um, Lee, I have noticed I don't have any delicious, dirty game pedals but on the floor. Not, because the first one that we're going to do is just a Fender. We're not doing pedals. Not giving any pedals to first mask anything. First one's just a Fender. Well, the first one will be the Fender, then I'll switch uh -huh. to the... Aha! So you don't... The idea is not for you to guess which amp I'm playing. No, the no, idea no. is just to guess... Is it, is it real it the or... Fender or... Is it the amp or is it the Kemper? Um, so I'm not going to tell you guys whether A is the amp or B is the Kemper or whatever uh, until the end of each segment and then I'll reveal. So you guys get to comment Is it well authentic about or what bullshit? you think it be. So here is random, random, random. It doesn't really matter which one we start on. Here is but, but, a Fender but, Deluxe. Will you know which one it is? Only by literally tracing the cable to see which one the amp is. So I will at the end. I've forgotten already which way around I plugged it in. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> the reverbs, I should tell you, by the way, are either... Uh, they are the reverb from the Kemper or the reverb from the Ox. What we're not using is the reverb in the amp. Only the Fender actually has that reverb anyway. OK. So, so here we go. Here's ready? the sound, yes. <laughs> Okay. You've got coil. Are oh, you using the telly? Are you okay? Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Right, and uh, we'll switch. <laughs> Did you switch? I've switched. Yes, I've switched. <laughs> Switch back. So, yeah, switch back. Okay. Switch it. That one sounds a bit richer and fuller. So I'm going to say <laughs> this is the real amplifier. So just to be clear, this is uh, the green light A, strum it, just one light G. And then so B is this one. And you prefer B, right? Just... It's, I'm not saying... Which, whichever one I just said. Yeah, well, you said B. Okay, okay, let me just trace the cable, see what's plugged into what, so that we can reveal... <laughs> Think this, isn't it? Okay, so... Oh my god, I, this is where I wish I hadn't used like a 700 metre long cable. That was, uh, that's what she said. Here we go. Right. 
What happened now then? So, B, for the people at home, have you guessed? Answer correctly. B is this one, and A is this one. But I can't see what you're pointing to. Exactly. That's not fair, Lee. So, there we are. Um, I've got to say, uh, let's just do general consensus in the room. I actually preferred A to B. What's well, you're, the consensus? What were your? I know you're you're the player, but you're any wrong. consensus in the room? A for me. A for you. Yeah, I'll say as well. A, A. A. So well, that's I, I thought, isn't it? I thought B was a bit fatter, but then I am sat next to the speaker. Yeah, it's cool. So, so there we are. So uh, uh, the, what did you think? That's the most important thing. Anyway, so that is part one. I have realised now that the three hours it's taken us to set this up and the two minutes it's going to take to shoot the video <laughs> probably wasn't worth it. But anyway, let's set up amp number two. Right. Okay, so now we have an actual Vox AC30 from 1963 plugged in into a head going into the Ox with a matching 212 uh, cabinet emulation versus Michael Britt's AC30 or one of his AC30 patches. Um, all going straight into the DI. One is A, one is B. I'm not telling you which. Uh, Rob, here we go. You ready? Yes. Change it. Change it again. Yeah. Okay. Change it again. <laughs> again. <laughs> And again. And again. I'm actually now really confused. <laughs> uh, okay, change here, it one more time. Is, change is, it one more time. Okay, so here is A. Okay. And here is B. That's the Vox. Okay, so we think B is the real amp. Yes. Let's follow the lead, follow the lead, follow, follow, follow the lead. Okay, so B, which is the one you said is the amp. Yes. Okay. Because um, it sounded so much more like the amp. Fine. And A, which we said was not the amp, well, it can only be. So there we go. Happy days. Right. Um, Tuna's on. Tuna's on. Give me another amp. Last one. What's interesting here is this is in no way uh, which one's the real thing, really. Well, it's come down to which one do I prefer. Could you tell, though, just then? Uh, no. So, our final challenge is a JCM 800 uh, amplifier 2203 plugged into the high gain input with, you know, everything relatively cranked versus, uh, again, a Michael Pritt, Britt. Michael Pritt? He makes glue. Um, <laughs> Michael Britt uh, JCM 800 Kay. patch. Uh, and here we go. Again, I don't know, I can't remember which is which, so one is green, one is red. You guess in the comments. Sectione below. Ready, go. Go, right. Change it. Changed. I'm 
not convinced by the game. Okay. I so think that's the a, camper. We're going to A. So back to A, and yeah. this is your. So here we go. Much prefer that sound. Okay, and B again, just. Yeah, it's too thin so, and it's right. not real sound. Fine. Okay, so ah! let's, let's see where B goes to. Follow the cable. I need some sort of follow the cable music here. Follow, follow. <laughs> oh, it's not plugged into anything. Oh, here we go. So that's B, the one that Rob didn't like because it didn't sound like an amp, and that's okay. A. So there we go. So that's the end. I mean, is there anything that you do? We need to well, do. Well, I'd like to put a gain there? pedal in front of some Fine. of these and just see if, like, a tube screamer or. Well, a... that's easy to do. Is that all right? That's Could I do easy that? to do. I like to do that. I like so. to do. That. Oh, so, which, which do you want to go? Do you want to stay in the Marshall or do you want to go back to? I want to start at the beginning with the Fender. And right. I want, and I want to see if a gain pedal changes my decision. Now, you start with the I don't want this to get confusing. The, why don't we start with the Marshall? All right. All plugged into. I just don't want this to get confusing. So, give me a tone. Okay. Randomize it. Uh, uh, I can't even remember which is which anyway. So okay. here is an amp. Okay. And I'm going to add the gain pedal. <laughs> You know what, I'm actually going to change the guitar just momentarily, although That's this fine. guitar is one of the nicest. Okay, change it. That one less, I think that's the Kemper. Fine. So you just to be clear, this is the one you like. <laughs> Go on, just yep. and this is the one you don't like. So everybody, <laughs> the one he likes, the one he doesn't like. Or let likes less. Likes less or doesn't like? Likes less. Likes less. Okay, right. Change it. That's the real Vox. And that one is better sounding. Okay. I so know it was quick. That was super quick. So if just do an A chord, more, please. I'll do a bit more Go on, for do, you. do an A chord. Really? Less nice, not right. as good. Happy different. days. Well, there you go, everybody. Uh, now the fender. That was A, the white cable. You can work out which one the white cable's plugged into, I'm sure. Uh, and finally, randomized. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, next one. That's the camper. Right. Well, that's all you want to do, is it? Just going boom. Just immediately that's telling you that's the camper because okay. it wasn't being pushed louder by the valves. It sounded thinner. wasn't fuller. That's the camper. So, uh, that's so here we go. So channel A with distortion. Well, not channel A, but we're yeah. saying this one is the one that you, if you thought, this that's, is the one you think the, the amp. Yeah. That's the real amp. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, and the other one? That's the Kemper. That's the Kemper. Yeah. Excellent stuff. You got that then, Joss? Do you know? So, white cable, he said that's the amp. Uh, black cable, he said that's the Kemper. Okay. So, now, I'll be honest with you, Rob. I'm not sure that my memory serves me entirely well, but I think, and Joss will correct me if I'm wrong, six out of six 
you thought the Kemper was the amp. What? In all six <laughs> instances. Shut up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So six out of six. <laughs> really? Six out of six, with or without distortion pedal, whatever. You Even thought that, that the yeah, you thought that the Michael Britt profile was the real amp. No. And that the real amp was the Kemper. Now, I'm not really sure what that even says, other than... Really? I mean, some, the more, somebody said this to me the other day, and I think I've said this on video before, that, that the Kemper has got this weird thing about just makes... I don't even know how to feel. ...and sound better. I mean, let's be honest with you. If you've splashed out your 1500 odd bucks to buy a Kemper and you've not bought all the Michael Britt profiles, you're insane uh, because yeah. that's basically where all the good Kemper tones I, are. I don't know whether I'm disappointed in myself or I am disappointed in myself, but it's masked with the, the, a general feeling of acceptance of the fact yeah. that Kemper with Michael Britt yeah. um, have done something. The, that weird, is the weird thing is, though, and I'm astounding. really interested to see what the comments section go, because I mean, it's there must be something that the Kemper does, or the way Michael Britt EQs his stuff, or the mics he uses, or whatever that just you love. But I was going through that honest. I mean, I guess it's well, it just sounds more real because I know which one I'm plugged into. But I definitely was. I mean, I definitely thought that the, the Fender amp, I thought, sounded better, especially on the clean sound. Well, then you know what, Lee? And you the, know what, mate? Should we just quick swap? Absolutely swap right now. All right. Randomize. Hello, viewers. So because I haven't rigged this up and I don't want to jinx it or make it bad, I've handed over to the wonderful Peter Honore, who's a guitar player. Uh, and he doesn't he, know anything about rigging stuff up. And he, he's, he's going to take this uh, over for me while I go and relax and drink this coffee with Rubia. So good luck, Lee. Out of an Anderson's mug that you can buy off the Anderson's website for $4.99. Yeah, or buy things. Buy one of these Danny's Pete t-shirts. Yes, buy, buy things. And uh, good luck, Lee. And if you get yeah. more correct than me, then well, I'll buy you a Well, if I'm more correct, it'll be because I'm, I've had the benefit of hearing you. But to be honest with you, the longer it goes between hearing it, the more I've sort of forgotten what they sound like. But anyway, yeah. I don't care. See you later. Just, so what are we doing? The Fender okay. first? Because so that is, that is okay. plugged in, isn't it? So the Fender first, which is plugged in, and I'm just going to randomise. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Next. Oh, hang. On. Okay, that's easy peasy. The first one is the better one because it's brighter and more alive, and the second one's compressed and darker. Just do right. Yeah, so eight. which one is which then? Well, just do the first one again. Okay. And now do the second one. So I'm saying the first one is the real amp. The second one is the Kemper, or at least the first one is my favourite one. I okay, just... then let's move on. Okay, so here comes a chord through something. I'll turn my tuner off. <laughs> Next one. Go back to the first one. Second one. Right, I'm picking really hard, and the second one, I think I can hear the power amp sag going every time I'm picking hard. So this one. The one you were just on. Yeah. So I'm saying that's the, the Vox, but I'll be honest with you, just, I don't know which is my favorite. Can you just go back to the... Um, yeah. And then the next one. I have to say, I think the first one is my favorite one. So this one? Well, whichever one I didn't think was okay, the, had yeah, the power yeah. amp okay, so I think, yeah. and, that, and it, 
Yeah, I favorite? think that's my favorite, favorite? one. Favorite? Yeah. And that's the one. But I do think the I don't I do think my favorite is the Kemper in that situation, if that makes sense. I think the second one is the amp, but in that the tonally I liked the first one. Tonally, that's a good yes. word. Tonally. tonally. Because it's it's just a couple of it's just a couple away from being up. something else. I'll tell you what, it's much more difficult when you sit here to hear what's if I'm standing behind the camera, it sounds completely different from yeah. sitting here. Yeah. Right? So we move on? Let's move on. Sexy time! <laughs> Hang on, wait, 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 yes. Do you want to randomize it again, assuming that Next one. The first one. Second one. They sound so similar from where I'm sitting. Again, that one that I'm just on now mm -hmm. feels like there's some sag in the power section going on. So I'm saying that's the real Marshall. I'm just going to try it with a... Go to the other one. First one again. Second one. Okay, I think the second one's the Kemper, i.e. the one we're just on, and I think the first one is the real amplifier, and I think they both sound so similar, I don't really have a favorite. But in the interest of supporting the valve amp world, I'm going to say that the, re the one I think is the Marshall is my favorite. Right, let me just do one more chord. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one? Yeah, the, the, the first one is the one I like. Yeah, and which yeah. one is the real amp? The, the, the first one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah. The, right. The, the bad news, Lou. Yes. Hang on. You need your lapel. Yeah. yeah, you need a lapel, Rob. I don't, I, well, so tell me, which, what did I get The bad right news wrong? is that you got all of them. <laughs> Go on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you why, though. It's the first time you have ever beaten me I tell in, you in why, a blindfold competition. I totally tell you why. It's because once you, once you tune in, and it only works, I think, because I, on the not so much on the Fender, but on the Vox and the Marshall, we're gunning the shit out of them into the Ox, which has got the power attenuator in it, so you can do that. You, oh, like do and that. once you know the tell, yeah. and you go, right, I'm picking really hard, and I can hear the power amp going, Whoa! and for whatever reason, the Kemper doesn't do that, because I guess you, there's certain you things can, that it can't profile like you, that. You can build in sag into the Kemper as well. Well, I suppose, but there maybe those sag, patches haven't yeah, got is the a sag, sag on them. There is a sag setting in there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, you've you got can. no mic, don't forget. I know, I'm talking, talking right in loud. here, sir, um, with my coffee breath. What? But uh, so, so in fairness... Well done, Lee. It's the, the, the Fender was the only one where out of the two, I actually preferred the sound of right. one versus the other. The other two, I just worked out what the tell was, and and I could, and I think I was going, I know what it is. But they both so, again. Question. Were you doing these all without the pedal or with the pedal? The only one I used the pedal on was the Marshall, and it put too much into it anyway, so I didn't really like it. So most of it was without the pedal. So I, again, interesting. Whether you guys I, are beginning to hear that or not. I think Lee had an advantage because you set it all up and he had a long time to listen to the I definitely device. had an advantage because I yeah. heard you playing first. Yeah. But I, yeah. I tell you, the, the, now that you know it, and now, I suppose... When you, you can hear the sag, through there I was going, oh yeah, it's obvious. 
Well, not really? obvious, but much easier to tell right. when you're listening for the sag. No different. Yeah. But I tell you what, as soon as you activate the sag on the Kemper, you don't yeah. know. I, I think it's an interesting. And in many instances, the Kemper sounds better. Yeah, I, I certainly would say, again, given that the Kemper is every amp ever, and the <laughs> Ox box can only ever be whatever one amp you decide to plug into it, I'd still got to say that the, the Kemper is a, a genius, genius solution for most gigging guitar players. But the well, uh, so would you ever own a Kemper? I would, if, but if, I think if I was a touring player, what do you want to say, Mr. Sorry, Pete? I just want to say, why don't we try to put the Kemba into the Ox and see how much that makes a difference. Well, if, we put the, if we put the Ox, in the, the JCM800 into the Ox, Versus and the then Kemper into the versus Ox. the Kemper into the Ox, but use the same cabinet profile. That's oh a great God. idea. Let's do it okay. right now. This is a different video, but I mean, oh, okay. I mean, another video. Yeah, this one's been on for too so long we'll anyway. Turn, we'll we turn on the video. we'll turn on the the cabinet off the yeah. the Kemper. But look, so <laughs> if anything, I suppose it potentially does suggest that if you're a you know if you love your valve amplifiers gunned, uh, you might find the Ox is perhaps a better solution to the Kemper, or I don't know. Guns. There's so many great solutions out well, there for you guitar go. players nowadays. Yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been Rob Chan. I've been the captain. And that's been Danish <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>